Last year, we were blown away by DALI2, the first super impressive text-to-image model by OpenAI. But today, prepare to step into a world where art and technology merge like never before with its third version. Let's dive into DALI3 with a brand new paper OpenAI just released and uncover the advancements that set it leagues ahead of DALI2. Trained on highly descriptive generated image captions, DALI3 doesn't just follow prompts, it breathes life into them. The results are incredible, and it not only understands prompts, but it is also able to understand the story behind your prompt. The progress since 2020 is just unbelievable. At the heart of DALI3's progress is a robust image captioner. It's all about the image captions, so the text fed during its training along with the image it should be able to generate. The new image captioner is the main factor why DALI3 is so much better than DALI2. Previous models were initially trained in a self-supervised way with image text pairs scraped from the internet directly. Imagine an Instagram picture and its caption or hashtags. It's not always that informative or even linked. The authors of the post mainly describe the main subject in the picture, not the whole story behind it or its environment and text that appears in the image along with the main subject. Likewise, they don't say where everything is placed in the image, which will be super useful information to ensure the accurate recreation of a similar image. Even worse, lots of captions are just jokes or non-related thoughts or poems shared along the images. At this point, training with such data is pretty much shooting yourself in the foot. What if you would instead have the perfect captions? Super detailed with all the spatial information needed to recreate it. That would be perfect. But how can we have this information from millions of pictures? We could hire hundreds or thousands of humans to describe the images accurately. Or we could use another model to understand images and generate better captions first. Well, that's what they did. First, craft a powerful image captioner model, then use it on your current large dataset of image caption pairs to improve them. Before diving into the details of DALI3, I want to take a few seconds of your time to share a super interesting offer from my partners for this video, OVH Cloud. OVH Cloud is offering GPUs at unbeatable prices to train and deploy your AI and ML models. This includes a selection of NVIDIA Cloud instances up to 60% of regular prices. OVH Cloud also offers managed platforms specifically designed for data scientists like AI notebooks, AI training and AI deploy. Powered by GPUs, these services are natively compatible with numerous applications and frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, ONNX, Hugging Face and Jupyter Notebooks. Enjoy a $270 credit offer to try their solution now with the first link below. Thank you OVH for sponsoring the video. DALI3 used 95% synthetic captions and 5% ground truth captions. A blend that elevates it to realms of creativity uncharted by its predecessors. This ratio also leads to much better results than using fewer synthetic captions. Look at those captions. Aren't they much better than an Instagram quick description? They are both well-written and super detailed. But what is this image captioner model exactly? Well, it's pretty similar to a large language model like ChatGPT. Here, instead of taking text and breaking it into tokens, we take images. Tokens are the numbers the model can understand and then process to generate sentences that will statistically make sense based on what the user asked or said. I mentioned to simply use image instead of words, but it isn't as simple. Images are much larger than words containing thousands of pixel values. Fortunately, there are approaches like Clip that were also trained on image caption pairs to take images and represent them in a compressed space. It does that by converting both the image and text in a new space only it can understand and ensure that both the text and image of the same pair give similar values. This means that if you then send it your image, this new representation should have a general meaning that the model can understand, just as if it would come from text. Then, to generate their synthetic data, they simply need to use this new representation to understand the images and teach to generate a good caption. This is the tricky part. Generating a good caption. 
Of course, they used a curated dataset of good image caption pairs to fine-tune the model to generate better captions, and not just basic ones as we had. So they still had to hire humans to build a dataset, though much smaller than millions of images. They first did that with great captions about the main subject of the image to make sure the model understand the most important feature of the images. Then, they fine-tuned it a second time with not only the main subject of the image, but also its surrounding, background, text found in the image, styles, colorations, etc., thus creating a very descriptive caption as you see here. And voila! They now have their image captioner able to take an image and generate a new descriptive caption for it. They apply it to their whole dataset and train the DALI 3 model in the same way they did with DALI 2, which I did a video on if you'd like more information on how it was trained and how DALI 2 and DALI works. By the way, if you like learning about new AI models like DALI 3, you should subscribe to the channel since I covered most of them, or even build cool products using them, which I also all share on my newsletter if you want a direct email for every new video, article or project I share. It's the first link in the description below. In evaluations, DALI 3 outshines DALI 2, with human raters consistently preferring the images generated by the newer model. It's also much better quantitatively measured on different benchmarks, like the T2I Comp Bench Evaluation Benchmarks created by Huang et al., which is a benchmark consisting of 6,000 compositional text prompts with several evaluation metrics specifically designed to evaluate compositional text image generation models. So to recap, DALI 3 is a huge step forward in prompt following and has amazing qualitative results but it still has its limitations. It struggles with image generation features like spatial awareness. It's just really hard to have descriptive enough descriptions with location information for all objects. Also, this third version is already much better at generating text on screen, something all previous models really struggle with. But it's still quite unreliable. We will have to wait for DALI 4 to have the proper text generated in images. Another problem with DALI 3 comes from the image captioner model. They have reported that the captioner is prone to hallucinating important details about an image. It often likes to give more details than less, even if it's to create them from nothing, thus called hallucination. I guess this is just a regular behavior of LLMs, maybe because good human writers like to give details and a good story, and the model was trained on this style of writing. Anyway, there is no complete fix on this new modal hallucination problem, which is why you should always be careful when using those language models, or even image ones in this case. But if you are aware of it, you can still do wonder leveraging those models and use techniques like prompt engineering or RAG to control the model's outputs better as I've shared in other videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, if you'd like to dive a bit deeper into the technical details, I recommend to watch my previous videos on DALI and DALI 2. I'd also suggest the most intrigued of you to dive into the DALI 3 paper, where they give more insights on its creation, evaluation and current limitations. It's a very interesting read. I'd also love to see all your creations with DALI 3 that you can share with us on the Learn AI Together Discord server. We have channels specifically for vision and random discussions, and personally, it's been a pretty good place to get prompting advice. Thank you for watching the whole video, and I will see you next time here or in my newsletter linked below with more amazing AI news explained.